Hello, welcome to Hilbert College. Um, I am Erin Edwards, an admissions counselor here. Um, and today we're just gonna do a presentation for our transfer students. Um, just kind of giving you an idea of what the admissions process looks like, what Hilbert's all about. Um, but first, Katie Martocci, our Career Development and Service Learning Director, is going to speak about um, career development, and then afterwards I'll go through the admissions process with you. So, here she is. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. As Erin said, my name is Katie Martucci. I'm the Director of Career Development and Service Learning here at Hilbert College. And if you notice from my slide, I'm actually here to talk to you about life after Hilbert College. One of the things that we do wonderfully here at Hilbert is prepare our students for whatever comes next. We're the Hilbert Hawks, so I like to say that we prepare you for when you leave the hawk's nest to land anywhere other than back on mom and dad's couch, because trust me, mom and dad don't want that. I'm a mom, and when my boys go, I want them to land on their own. So we're going to talk a little bit about life after Hilbert College, because Hilbert College really is the first step on your education journey towards that career. Thank you, Erin. So, I know that this is a pretty long and boring slide, but I like to put it up because this is the mission statement for career development, and I'd like to point out just a few key words. The first being that career development is a lifelong pursuit of passion. It's a lifelong process. I have a five-year-old little boy at home. He wants to be a Buffalo Sabre. He wants to be maybe a Buffalo Bill, go Western New York, <laughs> maybe Spider-Man or a firefighter or a police officer. That's because that's what he knows. A five-year-old little boy knows what he knows. It's the beginning of his lifelong career development process. By the time you get to college, obviously you probably want to be something other than a superhero. If you still want to be a superhero, good for you. But lifelong development starts as a baby. It starts in kindergarten, and it continues through college and beyond. So that's why we highlight life mom, students and alumni. Once you become a member of the Hilbert College family, you have access to the Career Development Center for life. You'll be able to come and make appointments with us as a student and also once you graduate. And the last word highlighted is skills. So one of the job, one of the items on every single job posting that I've ever seen is skills, the skill set that an employer is looking for. Here at the Career Development Center, we can help you to develop those skills. There's actually 10 skills that all employers are looking for. This comes from a survey developed by the National Association of Colleges and Employers. I'm just gonna read to you real briefly the top 10 skills, just so you are aware of the types of skills that we teach here at Hilbert College that employers are looking for and that we can help you to develop. Number one is the ability to work in a team. You will have a lot of chances to do that in your extracurricular activities as well as in the classroom here at Hilbert. Number two is the ability to make decisions and solve problems. Three, the ability to plan, organize, and prioritize work. Four, the ability to communicate verbally with people inside and outside of an organization. Five, the ability to obtain and process information. Six, the ability to, an to analyze quantitative data. Seven, technical knowledge related to the job. Eight, proficiency with computer software programs. Nine, the ability to create and or edit written reports. And 10 is the ability to sell and influence others. The Career Development Center here at Hilbert can help you to develop these skills and to help you, uh, excuse me, to help you highlight them on your resume so when you are applying for jobs, it's very clear to employers that you have these skills. We'll go on to our next slide. So basically, here's what we do. In the Career Development Center at Hilbert College, we help you to discover your passion, develop your skills, and achieve your future. As far as discover your passion, you know, a lot of students think they have it all figured out. You know what you're going to major in in college, you know what you want to be, you know where you want to go. And then you have a conversation with a professor, you have a conversation with a cashier at the grocery store, maybe with a parent or a mentor, and all of a sudden you realize that, oh my goodness, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life we can help you discover what it is that you really do want to do through things like career exploration activities. We do self-assessments in our career center. We offer individual and group career counseling appointments, and we host a slew of workshops and events, anything from resume writing to professionalism. We do LinkedIn profile critiques. 
resume critiques. Um, we recently had our annual etiquette dinner. There's a whole slew of activities that we do here at Hilbert. Next, we will help you to develop those skills that I mentioned earlier. Teamwork, decision-making, the ability to sell and influence, sell and influence others. These are all skills that employers are looking for. And again, we can help you to develop and hone those skills. So we help you to do that through helping you to identify some extracurricular activities that you may be interested in, part-time employment, internships, service learning opportunities, volunteer opportunities, we have job postings on our website that you can access once you're a member of the Hilbert College family, and you'll have access again to that for life. You know, speaking of service learning, here at Hilbert, we have a unique component, which is actually a graduation requirement that all of our students are required to complete service learning to graduate. That also is housed in the Career Development Center. What service learning is, is doing community service or volunteerism related to what you're learning in a particular course. The skills that you will learn and the connections that you will make in our community are invaluable to your resume and to yourself as when you go out into the job market or graduate school, whatever you choose to do. And finally, in the Career Center, we can help you to achieve your future. So again, we do that through career counseling appointments. We can also offer mock interviews. So once you land an interview, we can practice with you. We'll do it as many times as you need until you are comfortable in an interview setting. We help with networking. As I mentioned, we work with LinkedIn a lot, and we also have networking events where we'll bring alumni in to help you be comfortable in social business settings and also to help you make those connections that could be valuable to your future. <clears throat> We also help students with graduate school, not a problem. We help students with graduate school, uh, like I said, job postings, thank you, and postgraduate year of service. Because as I said at the beginning of my presentation, once you leave Hilbert, we want you to do what you want to do. We want you to be happy, whether that's as a full-time employee somewhere, or maybe doing a year of service. Maybe you are going to work part-time and pursue graduate school or be a full-time graduate student. We are here to support you in whatever you want to do to help kick off your career. So thank you very much for your time and attention today. Are there any questions? If anyone has any questions at all during this broadcast, please feel free to type them into the text box on your screen. And either myself or Erin will be happy to answer them. I don't think we have any nope. questions at this time, so I'm going to turn it back over to Erin, and she's going to talk a little bit more about Hilbert College. Thank you so much, and I hope to meet you soon. Hello, um, as I said before, um, I'm Erin Edwards. I'm an admissions counselor here at Hilbert College. And I'm just going to do a short presentation about our admissions process um, and some particular information just pertaining to our transfer students here at Hilbert. So Hilbert College um, was founded in 1957 by Mother Colette Hilbert. Um, she was actually a sister. Um, so we do have a Franciscan Catholic heritage here at Hilbert. Um, and definitely, we definitely pride ourselves on those values, Franciscan values as well. We're located in Hamburg, New York, and later in the presentation, I'm going to tell you some fun things that are around here. But Hilbert has about 1,000... 20 <laughs> students. Um, so a very small student body. So as you can imagine, you get a lot of personal attention, one-on-one -on -one attention here at Hilbert. Student to faculty ratio is 13 to 1. And we have more than 20 student organizations here on our campus. So there's a lot to do, you know, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom to keep you busy. Um, we are NCAA Division Three. Um, and we do have quite a few different sports, and I will get into that later on as well. So this is our beautiful campus here in Hamburg, New York. Um, and as you can see, um, it is a smaller campus. We do have our main quad, as we call it, um, right here. Um, when you come to campus, you'll be greeted by our beautiful ponds right in front of our um, campus at Franciscan Hall where our admissions office is housed. Um, but every building on our campus is just as beautiful. So I really encourage you all to come and visit. So we have 16 bachelor degree programs 
not going to list them all for you. Obviously, you can see them. Um, but certainly our most popular program um, programs here at, at Hilbert are probably criminal justice and forensic science. Those are our largest programs here. But definitely um, following that are a lot of our business programs. Um, and any one of these degrees, we have great internship options. Um, as you will see, we have some accelerated degrees. And the professors are fantastic. Um, they really can speak to their major because they've lived it. They've worked in it. Um, they have practical experience. So even though, obviously, college classrooms, you're going to get that lecture experience, you're going to get these great stories from your professors because they really have experienced you know, their field, and they're going to be able to share that with you. Like I said, we have four plus one programs. So these fantastic accelerated degree programs, um, criminal justice, um, in just five years, you can get a master's of science in criminal justice administration. And also with forensic science, you can do that as well. Political science, um, just five years, get your master's of public administration. And then human services, the master's of public administration with a health administration. So working in healthcare, working for hospitals, but more on the business side of things, um, which is definitely something huge um, with growing with the hospitals and obviously the older population and things like that. Um, we also have five-year programs that are associated with St. Bonaventure University. We do have a partnership with them. So for this, you can get your accounting, master's business administration, and you can also get enough credits to sit for the CPA. And then we have business management, which you can then get the master's of business administration. One thing I will tell you, obviously, all of our four plus one programs with Hilbert, all here at Hilbert, um, the accounting um, master's of business administration, that last year you actually have to go down to St. Bonaventure and Olean, New York, um, finish up that that track. Um, so just so you're aware of that, obviously we would give you a lot more information pertaining to that later on, um, but the business management is all housed here at Hilbert. We do have an ADP accelerated degree programs for adult students. Um, you have to have at least 24 college credits um, in order to get into one of these programs, and we have bachelor's of science in conflict studies, dispute resolution, um, organizational development, and business management. Um, out of these programs, certainly business management is our probably most, most popular, um, but definitely is great for you know, adult students who are working um, because their classes are, you know, after work, after you get out of work, you can go to class um, one night a week and quick get your bachelor's degree done and complete it. This is our Hilbert blueprint, and obviously being a transfer student, the first two years, you might not be here, um, you know, so you might not get to experience our first year experience foundation seminar, um, because you might transfer in something else for that, for that, but of course, you know, we really want to make sure your first year on campus, no matter if it's your sophomore, junior, you know, year, um, even if you have one year left, we want to make sure that you really know what is here um, that you can utilize, such as career development, um, academic services um, is another big one here on our campus. So the rest of the presentation will also highlight those things that you're going to be able to utilize when you come here. But, um, you know, when you do transfer in as a junior, you still have to do the junior symposium, um, which is a fantastic course, um, a current events symposium taught by three different teachers at the same time. It is fantastic to hear their different um, opinions on different topics going on in the world, and it really makes you realize how important news is. Um, you know, especially going to college, you're kind of living your life, and when I took that course, I was like, it really does pertain to everyone in the world, what's going on. Um, so it definitely makes you pay attention more and helps you to learn more about critical thinking and get your own opinions about things. And then the senior capstone is fantastic for all of our students. Um, big, huge presentation they have to put on. So I'm sure it's nerve wracking, um, but it's something that our students um, can um, 
students can get experience doing some uh, public speaking, obviously, and not just in front of their peers, but in front of professors as well, and really get um, a chance to do some in-depth research about a topic that they're interested in in their field. Here at Hilbert, like I said, the number one thing that students say that's the best thing at Hilbert is our faculty. 100% of our classes are taught by professors. You don't have teacher's assistants. Whoever made that syllabus for that class, that's the professor that's going to be teaching. Um, so it's fantastic. Like I said, um, professors have practical experience. Um, so they're really teaching you from things they've learned throughout their career um, and what's important for you to know. Um, so you really know what you're getting into. Um, you know, when I went to Hilbert, um, I went for human services and a lot of my professors were social workers. So I knew what social work was all about before I graduated. I knew, you know, if that was the right path for me, um, which I really like. They don't, they don't hide that. They try to tell you that right away. Like I said before, average class size is 13 students, so nice and small class sizes. Not only do you get personal attention from your professor, um, but you really get to know the peers around them, your peers. Um, so you get to know students and your, you know, major, obviously, um, and it makes it for a very comfortable learning environment. Um, so when you go up in front of the classroom and you're doing presentations, you already know everyone. So it's not as, you know, freaky um, and, you know, stressful as it might be um, because everyone's really there to help you. We have state-of-the-art technology. Um, we're using some of it right now. Um, all of our classrooms have smart boards, um, multi-touch smart boards, widescreen smart boards, um, wireless all around campus, um, and then we have two classrooms too with HD um, projectors and screens that we can utilize around campus depending on the different um, events that we have. Um, and Vogel 101 also has a huge screen that we can use, which we do a lot of viewing of movies and things like that. McGrath Library, um, whether you like it or not in college, you're definitely going to be spending more time in the library um, because you tend to get more work done there. I know I did. So whether it's collaborating with other students or just trying to get papers done, um, the librarians are there to help you. We have an interlibrary loan system. So if Hilbert itself does not have the materials that you need, they can find where they can get them from for you and it's free. Um, 50,000 electronic journals that you have access to, um, and that's just with your Hilbert password and sign-in name, um, so that's fantastic. And then, like I said, five full-time librarians are always on staff for you um, to ask any questions you may have. Academic services, um, whether you need help um, or not, this is a fantastic place to hang out. I know I found myself hanging out here to um, just hang out with other students and get work done um, and also getting tutors by other students and also professional tutoring. Um, they really help you with your study skills. This is the Office for Disability Services, um, which is Debbie Dimitrovsky takes care of that. So if you do have any um, accommodations or anything that you need to help you excel, um, certainly Debbie can help you to get those accommodations. You can meet with her beforehand. She'll even help you register for classes. Um, but this really is a one-stop shop for any questions you may have or any help you need. Career development, obviously Katie went through this earlier, so I won't go through it too much. Um, she really ran the gamut of everything on this slide, so I'll just go past this one. We have beautiful dorming. Um, we have residence halls and apartment style housing, which on the top there, it's Trinity Hall. And on the bottom is one of our apartment style housings. Four apartments, um, and we list all of our apartment housing. And then, like I said, Trinity Hall and St. Joseph's Hall are our two um, traditional residence halls. Quick housing facts. All students may have a car on campus. Parking is free at Hilbert. Um, you just have to register your vehicle with campus safety, which is really awesome. Bikes are permitted on campus. Pets are not, um, but you can have fish. 
uh, free laundry facilities. So you don't have to bring quarters, just bring your soap um, and you can use those. They're on the end of every corridor at the bottom of each apartment building and no curfews. Um, athletics, like I said before, it's division three. And this is all of the sports that we offer. If you are interested in any of our sports teams, you can contact the coaches right on our website, go to the athletics link. Um, we have questionnaires that you can fill out. They go directly to the coaches so they know you're interested. And then they certainly can contact you if they want to come see you play, need any additional information. If you want to send videos, it's a great place to go to. Um, so all the information is right there. Tons of clubs and societies on campus. Like I said, there's tons of things to get involved in here at Hilbert um, and a lot of things you can do outside of, you know, just the classroom. And you're going to be able to gain outside, you know, field experience too and with some of these clubs because they're related to your major, which is very nice. Um, it's happening here at Hilbert. You know, this is just some pictures of, of you know, our different clubs and everything. We got Hilbert Stars, our cheerleading team. Um, you know, we do a lot of, like I said, a lot of events here on campus, a lot of fun things. Campus safety, um, they're here 24-7, 365 days a year. When you're not here, they're here. <laughs> so they're here to help you even, you know, if we have November again, they will be here. Um, and they were here during that. Um, so, you know, if ever you, you're not feeling comfortable or if you have anything to report or anything's bothering you, um, definitely go to them. Um, and this is also who you would contact for your parking permit and all of those things. So they're fantastic. Like I said before, um, we are like, you know, not too far away from Buffalo. Um, so there is a nice city that we can have access to. Um, and all of these things are right around us. Ralph Wilson Stadium is literally like down the road from us. So we do sometimes get tickets for those games. Bandits, Buffalo Bandits lacrosse is a huge thing here at Hilbert because we do have a lacrosse team ourselves. Um, we get nice cheap um, movie tickets for our students. Tons of Bison's events that we go to. Um, so there's just tons to do in the area. And tons of food. Um, Buffalo is known for our food, so you can try a lot of it. A lot of this is franchise stuff, but believe me, um, there is so many great local restaurants in the area. Um, so again, lot to do on campus, but plenty to do off campus as well. So this is the tuition and fees breakdown. Um, we're $9,650 a semester for full-time students. Um, and this is with all your fees here with commuters. So if you're, you know, traveling back and forth from campus, it's going to be around $19,900. Um, obviously, this is what, without any aids, any scholarships or anything, but this does have all your fees added into it. If you are going to live on campus, you're looking at around $28,550. We are the lowest in tuition as far as private schools in Western New York. So we really try to keep our tuition down. Transfer scholarships, we have quite a few. Um, even though it's the last one on here, I'm gonna start with it, the $2,500 scholarship for our annual transfer articulation scholarship. This is for all of our local um, or, you know, not too far away community colleges. So if you get your associate's degree, degree as far as like Herkimer community, County Community College, we can give you this scholarship, but you do have to get your associates. Um, and of course, we certainly will try to transfer as many credits as we possibly can. All of these other scholarships are for all of the schools outside the articulation agreement. Um, so if your school's not a part of that articulation agreement, you're probably gonna qualify for one of these, um, depending on your GPA and things like that. More information regarding those is on our website, so if you want more of the particulars. Tau Sigma is our National Honor Society for Transfer Students, um, and we do invite you um, to be inducted um, once you're here. Um, so obviously you would get more information once you're a student here at Hilbert, but they have scholarship opportunities and different opportunities here on campus. 
financial aid, um, obviously being a transfer student, you know, you have to fill out your FAFSA every year. We strongly encourage you to do that. Um, and this is just our code um, and how to get your PIN. And then our application process. It is so easy to apply to Hilbert. You can do it on a paper application if you have one of those, which there is a $25 fee for our, our paper application. But we have a free online application right on our website. So easy to access. Just go on there, fill out our application, super easy. All we need with it is your official transcripts. So we do need official transcripts from any schools that you've attended. If you take in any AP credit in, in high school, you're certainly gonna wanna get those scores for us as well. Even if you're a transfer student, um, we might need those. And we also do need your high school official transcripts, just more for auditing purposes. Um, but certainly, you know, try to get us all those official transcripts from any schools you've attended. That is really all that I have for you today, but please feel free to write any questions that you have in, write those in. Um, I know that we're gonna be having a chat later on today, so please, you know, just kind of look out for that. Kim Sparing will be heading that up, one of our other admissions counselors, so write in any questions you may have. Um, and thank you so much for viewing this today.